Hello students, welcome once again to another section and this time we have a polynomial question. So we are going to use the Lagrange polynomial to the second degree to approximate f of uh, 1.4 and also find the absolute error for the function f of s giving us the log base 10 3s minus 1, right? Okay, so know that the Lagrange polynomial is just given by f of s naught. then we have l naught of s plus f of s1 and we have l1 of x then um plus um f of s2 then l2 of x here now we can continue writing it out but the question says to the second degree to the second degree so um this is okay now we are we are to find the f of s naught f of s1 and f of s2 right so in doing that, we are given that the function f of s is just equal to the log base 10 here. Then we have 3x minus 1, right? So uh, for f of s, uh, for f of s naught, then we have log base 10 here and 3s minus 1. Now f of s naught was given in the question as 1. So we have f of s naught as 1. So we have log base 10 here. And we have 3 multiplied by 1 minus that. And this is going to give us 0. Point 03103. Three. All right. Now for f of s one year. So we have log base ten year three x year minus one. Then we have um f of s one was giving us one point two five year being equal to the log base ten year. Then we have three year one point two five year minus one year. Then we are going to get um zero point four three. 933 three. right okay so f of s2 is just the log base 10 to so we'll do for each one of them so f of s2 is just 1.6 and therefore the log base 10 then we have 1.6 here minus 1 here and with this we are just going to get 0 0.57978 right okay so this is what we have for each one of the function now the question is what is l naught of s what is l1 of x we don't know what is l2 of x we don't know and therefore we have to uh, solve for that one also so in this case we have um l naught of x here to be equal to we have x minus s1 here then also s minus s2 divided by s naught minus s1 here then we have s naught minus s two year so if that is the case then we are going to get um um s minus s1 s1 here was giving us 1.25 then s2 year was giving us 1.6 here being divided by um s naught is just one so minus 1.25 then also one minus 1.6 uh, here so when we compute this we should get 20 over 3 and expanding this we just get s squared the minus uh, 57 divided by 20 x here plus 2 right that will be for l naught now for l1 of x we are just going to get s minus s naught here then s minus s2 here being divided by s1 minus s naught here then also s 1 minus s 2 here so let's substitute the values in so s naught is just 1 then s minus this is just 1.2 1.6 then we have s1 to be 1.25 minus 1 here and also 1.25 here minus 1.6 here so if we compute this we should get negative 80 divided by 7 then when we expand this we should get negative s squared minus uh, negative 2.6 s here then also plus 1.6 here all right now for um l l2 of x so we have um l2 of x here being equal to s minus s not here then we have s minus x1 here being divided by s2 minus s not then also s2 minus x1 here so when we compute this we should get um our s naught is just um one right then s1 s1 is just 
then S2 is just 1.6 minus 1 here, then 1.6 minus, um, we have S1 being 1.25, right? So, um, when we compute this, we should get um, an under divided by 21, under divided by 21, yeah. Then when we expand this, S squared minus um, 9 over 4x here, plus 1.25, here also all right all right so um this is what we have now we can now put in our p of x right no now p of x we said is just um f of s naught multiplied by r naught of x so which means that we are having f of s naught we add to be um zero point that so we have zero point um three zero one zero three here being multiplied by um 20 by 3 and remember we have s squared minus 57 over 20 20 then x here plus 2 then for the next one we have um the next one we have 0 0.43933 3 here being multiplied by um, 80 over 7 for the um so we have f of s1 then we have f of on uh, 1 of x here then we have s squared minus 2.6 x here then plus 1.6 here all right now from here we have um f of s2 f of s2 is just 0 0.5 uh, 7, 9, 7, 8 here right be multiplied by the 100 over 21 here then also we have s squared minus 9 over 4x here plus 1.25 here okay so when we compute each one of them then we should get um, um we should get so we are just going to get 0 2.00687 then s squared minus 57 over 20 x here plus 2 then also we have negative 5.02 Zero nine one then s squared minus two point six s here one point six here then we have plus two point seven six zero eight six here then we have s squared then minus nine over four x here plus one point two five now the question says that we should approximate for f of s being equal to one point four right so which means that p of s here one point four here will just be equal to um, we'll put 1.4 into the values of x in each one of them right then we are going to get if you compute all of this just substituting 1.4 into each value of x and we add everything what we are going to get is for the first part we are just going to get um negative 0 0.60206 then also the second part will just give us a uh, zero um point for 0.401673 then also plus um 0 0.1651656 then 512 now all of this will just give us 0 0.5071182 right 1182 which we can um so let's so therefore we can write that a p of s of approximating this we have um, 71118 so let's say that will be the value now the questions also say that we should um the question say we should find the absolute error right so let's calculate for the absolute error so in calculating for the absolute error now we have the absolute error here being equal to um the f of 1.4 here minus um 1.4 here right so we have absolute now what is this so we have 1.4 here remember the function was giving us um the log base 10 here and we have three um x here plus one so when we substitute um x into that 1.4 here plus one then we are just going to get 0 0.50 then 5150 right so when we have this then we are going to substitute this into that so our absolute 
error will just be the function this is giving us that 5150 the minus um, p of um, 1.4 which is this this so that's 0 0.507118 and when we compute this we should get um, 0 0.001968 968 or which can still gain 1.968 times 10 to the power um, negative 3 here yeah. so thank you very much for joining me in this section i hope this section was helpful please leave a comment like this video and also subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime we release a new video thank you very much and i'll see you in another section